Hey guys, this is Brandon with FTPtraining.com and this is another quick tip. All right, you guys, so I'm here today because this is the first time that this has happened to me, right? I'm an editor, I primarily edit a lot of C100 footage, uh, but today is the first day that I got something from a red camera, okay? So basically, I just filmed an event and there's a guy there who had a red camera. So he gave me a bunch of red files and I'm like, oh cool, like Final Cut will be able to handle it, right? Uh, what's interesting is when I come into the import window here and I'm just gonna try to add day one to the day that's already here, which is day one. Um, you know, what I'm gonna do here is click import selected it's going to go through, oh wait, what? Just kidding, I knew that this has happened, right? So it says no importable file. So I'm like, dang it, how the heck do you get red footage into Final Cut, right? So what I'm going to end up doing is just coming over here to Firefox. I'm going to click this button. Um, this is for the red Apple workflow installer. I'm going to go ahead and click download. All right, cool. So that just finished installing. So I'm just going to click this button here. Go through this, continue, continue, continue. Yep. Cool, install this. Cool. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna have to restart my whole computer. So I'm gonna come back after this is just restarted. So give me just a second. All right, you guys, so I just restarted my computer and now what I'm gonna end up doing is I just wanna go over here to day one, which is where I wanna import everything into. Again, I'm gonna find that red, or this day one folder red. But what I wanna make sure is that I don't do finder tags and from folders, from keywording, uh, because it's just gonna be a mess uh, with everything I think that's gonna pull in here in just a second. Um, I'm not I'm basically just going to have copy to library and that's it. All right. Now you're going to get this prompt that, you know, it's going to be like, holy cow, what's all this mess, right? I just go ahead and click import. Uh, I think red makes a bunch of files that obviously you don't need. And then of course, like depending on how many files you have, this process is probably gonna be faster or slower depending on you know how many files you're pulling into your system. Also, one more thing to point out, which is that I always make sure that transcoding is unselected. Um, from what I've heard, if you do optimized or proxy media, it's gonna bake in the look. Uh, I'm sure you guys already know this, but red makes it so that you know, you can change all these clips uh, in, you know, after the fact. So it's like, let me see if I can get a clip here. And again, everything is in the process of importing, so it's not gonna let me do anything, but this is where you'd actually come and click uh, to make any changes uh, to the files, so. All right, you guys, I'm actually gonna put this on every single Mac computer that I own just to make sure that I'm prepared and ready. So if a client hands me something, I can easily put it in. Again, this is the first time that I've ever worked with red footage inside of Final Cut, so I'm super excited to get after this right now on this edit. So that's it for this quick tip. I hope that this has been helpful to you. My name is Brandon Fisher with FDP Training, and until next time. Go to ftptraining.com for other tutorials, templates, and Final Cut Pro tools.